In this video, I'm going to solve your doubts about how to change the bounce time on Logitech G502 Hero and whether or not it is possible to do this. As you might be aware, the debounce time is something put into place to reduce the amount of problems related to accidental, accidental double clicks. So you might be curious on how to properly change this debounce time on your G502 model. So what you may try to do is download the latest version of the G Hub software that you can find on the official Logitech website. So you will be able to go up to software, download here for Windows and Mac OS, and, then, and when you open the software, what you will notice is that your G502 mod will be picked up immediately. And when you go into the settings, usually there will be two main options, sensitivity and then assignments. Now, assignments is only stuff related to macros, so this doesn't really help us. So what if we go over to the sensitivity options? Even though we are able to change the actual DPI speeds, so directly related to the sensitivity and the report rate, we won't be able to change the debounce time. There is no option here. So to do this, do we have to go over to the settings? Do we have to update the firmware, restart to an older version, or is it tied to a specific model? Well, sadly, the actual answer to the question in the title of this video is that as of today, you cannot directly change the debounce time on the G502 Hero using the official Logitech G Hub software. Like I said, it is a limitation put into place to prevent accidental double clicks, and because of this, Logitech does not give users the option to adjust the debounce time on their mice. So sadly, if you have a G502 Hero, you will not be able to change this. You can try using third-party software, but usually there will be no difference or it can lead to unexpected behavior or compatibility issues. Because of this, I cannot show you in this video. So sadly, if you do want a mouse that allows you to change the debounce time, you will have to look into purchasing a different model. The purpose of this video is not to spread misinformation, but let people be aware about the limitations of knowing and how to change the debounce time and how it's not available for this specific model. If this video cleared up any questions that you had, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.